Hey, it's the Jims here. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter! <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Did everyone have a little egg hunt? Did eat you eat any hollow bunnies? Ham? Hmm. Hollow bunnies. Hollow bunnies. Hello. So, what is going on down here? Someone's making some nodes. Let's uh, let's do this little little stuff. Oh. Nope, not there yet. Still see him down there. Aha! Oh, this is this is D Max place. Wait, what? D Max place is underneath XB's place. How does that? Now I'm totally confused because I know D Max entrance is around here somewhere. Whoa, lag. Oh, look at all of them. Oh. Yeah, look at all of them. The little blazes and the, and the witches. witches and, and the blazes and, and the, the witches. witches. So there's his entrance. And then you have like XB's over here. So I was thinking those nodes would have been XB's based on them being like over here. But I guess not. But I guess not. Ooh, lamb. Meh. Bah. Meh. So, since, since last, since Friday, I guess, I hooked myself up to the Nexus. So now, I have my own portal in here. Also, explored a little bit in the community areas, the lava and stuff. I haven't been. To, I have yet to go to the twilight. The seal. The what? The heck is a siege? What? I don't know. I have no clue. Anyway, uh, here's my portal to my blish. Just go through it like that. <coughs> and here we go. Oh. Probably put my lectern over there, so let's. Oh my god, why is my FPS lag? Like, so bad. I think that had something to do with. XB? I don't know what XB was doing. Also, I, I I implemented a roof. Looks nice. Mm, yes. It's purple. Yes, it is. It's very pretty. I guess we're still loading chunks. It's... Are they... oh, oh. There we go. The second tier builder's wand ritual earlier. Oh my god. That's that's uh awesome for him here. Break it. Okay. What? I picked up the book earlier. I guess it's I guess it's more than just my computer that's lagging. Okay. So yeah, roof. Um, we'll, we'll just go each of the rooms. See, there we are. It's a little obsidian tile look. Okay, put this uh, I have no clue what to do for it.
Yep. So it looks pretty good. It looks fantastic, babe. It, it goes together. And then I've also moved my travel anchors to this. And we have kind of... Oh! Those are our landing Wow! Spikes. I like it. So you come in here and you just sit it. And it's, it's labeled for its coordinate area. So north, south, east, and west. Hop over to the south side. And then you just go down to the AE level. Oh, I just click on the AE. Also, if you're looking at the mini map, <laughs> you can see what else I have been working on. <laughs> I finished my yin yang. Pretty cool, huh, guys? I, I like that it actually shows up on the mini map there. That's, that's actually pretty funny. And let's go up there now. So I have a living rock on the Batania side because it's white. And it's for That's Batania. a lot of living rock. That is a lot of living rock. A lot. And a lot of living stone. Probably... Wait, you didn't use living stone, though. On the other side. I mean, no. living. No, this is. So this is Thalmcraft. This is arcane blocks. Those are pretty. So it's from it's from Thalmcraft, so it all goes together. It's pretty. I like it. And it's my yin and yang. And then I set up some automated um, methods of creating all the living rock and living wood stuff. Etho streamed last night? Etho streams? What's his Twitch? I'm not even following him because I didn't know he... Oh, see, there it goes. And then, there it goes. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let me, uh... Turn off this resource pack. Etho TV. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Twitch TV. Just follow. That's probably from streaming like once, and he has three hundred and three thousand total views and seventy-five thousand followers. Insane. Anyway. Back to the game, and uh, yeah. So wood. I kind of need to turn this thing off, unfortunately, because it's. Why not? I can just edit the uh, interface, can I? Shoop. There we go. Oh, oh, I forgot. I was also going to camouflage those things too. Let me, uh, let me fix that really quick. Steve's factory manager cables. Oh yeah, let, let me show you this too. Uh, because you know I love flow charts. This is what I've got going here. Looks pretty nice, huh? So I've got, uh, I've got one variable here. This is for our living rock. Uh, basically, it's going to be the eight. Uh, Steve, the the cables right there for living rock, and the cables right there for living wood. Kind of separate them. I could do both, but whatever. You know what? I don't even need to really do that. I could just do like right here have it tacked on at the end. Blocks. All the blocks. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second how this works. Not this, but... Set camo. Living rock. And done. 
Yep. So now it just looks like living rock. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That's camouflage for you. Um, anyway, we'll start from the top here. So our first set of, uh, of commands here is going to be input from variables. So both living rock and living wood. It uh, doesn't matter which which side. I'm just going to get the living rock and living wood. So that's that's the, the finished product. We're going to take that and we're going to output that here to the ME interface, okay? Uh, then we're going to do another input command. This is going to take anything from the ME interface that we have that is not living rock or living wood. So basically blacklisting what we previously had. And we're going to switch that to two for each loops. Uh, what these for each loops are going to do is they're going to iterate over each of the living rock and living wood variables. So, so for each and for each variable living rock, we're going to just go over the magenta variable. It doesn't really matter per se there. And um, the condition is, and so the condition we're going to check the magenta variable which is the one we're working with on this for each loop. If the magenta variable finds living rock, because this is for the living rock, and then we're just going to do nothing. If it does find it, then that's going to be false, and we're going to go ahead and output some stone. So basically it's going to take stone and fill in each of those if there's nothing there already. Um, did we not have our magnet on? Where's our, where's the living rock that we picked up there? Grrr. Uh, rock. Lobster. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, this glass is pretty cool also. This is the elf. Off glass, similar to the mana glass, but random patterns and shapes and stuff. Do 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 do. So yeah, that's my living rock and living wood maker. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, and I put my uh, travel anchors in the middle of the uh, dots on the yin and yang. I thought that was, you know, a fitting place to have them. And it's also going to be the corners of where we have our blood altar when we finally get it fully expanded. And we haven't done much in blood magic recently. Kinda sad. Um, what else is new? So we've got, uh, still working on our, uh, a, a mega node over here. I don't know if I showed this, this to you guys, but I went and got a couple nodes and I've combined a couple into this guy already. Um, but now I've got this set up Wasn't there more than just Ordo in that one? I think that was Ordo and Perdicia, wasn't it? Or is that what this one was? Yeah, anyway. Ordo and something. Can't remember what else was on there. So I've got this set up on a clock. Every. Look here. Every three minutes. This timer does its thing. Did I? And when it does its thing, it's going to uh, flip the switch. You'll see it here in, here in a little bit too. We'll actually see it toggle it. And what that's going to do is turn off or turn on this redstone signal. So uh, three minute intervals, it'll be uh, the, what are they called? Uh, 
The node stabilizers. Yeah, there we go. So the node stabilizers will turn off and on every three minutes. That uh, basically gives the nodes times time to uh, recharge. Because otherwise they get spent pretty quickly. Like, I think that one's probably fading. Maybe that's why it's coming down so quick. Um, let me just show you really quick, too. The node that I picked here that I'm combining them all into, this guy right here, he's a bright node. Uh, what that means is that he will provide a 1.2% increase to... Oh, it's pale. That's why it's not working so good. Um, that one's pure. And yeah, that's normal. Okay. So uh, the, basically the bright nodes give a uh, slight bonus to the the Centiviz generation. There we go. So that's kind of nice. And I've done a little workout here too. Oh wait, what's going on down here? Eh, I should probably fill that in. Doesn't look too good having a hole with water there. But, um, got rid of the house. So now we have, like, creepers all over the place. What's up, guys? Haha! <laughs> How did I know he was going to explode? Ah, uh, jeez. And, uh, put a little pool here with its water trickling out into, into there and just, uh, on down into there. And over yonder. The waterfall, baby. Look at the waterfall. Oh, wow. I made it go all the way from the top down. And then That's awesome. To there. Yeah. It's very waterfall. And found a neat little place to take screenshots of my base from. Right here. <laughs> kind of lines up with the curvature. Oh, cool. In the mountain there. <laughs> cool. Let's harvest some trees. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Because I don't have an actual tree farm yet, I've been using just this area to make and break some big spruce trees. Like this. So quick to get spruce wood this way too. Though I'd imagine it'd be just as quick if I had a farm. But... Me. Is that your pot pods? Wait, what's it called? Podzel. Podzel. That stuff right there. Yep. Can make that with. Uh, uh, Batania. Yeah. 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 You know a lot about Batania. Yeah. Why do you know so much about Batania, baby? Uh, <laughs> once upon a time in a land far away. Yeah? How far away? Pretty far away. And you played modded Minecraft? Yep. Got like a combination of leaves. And we'll just go back here and plant these double wide spruces and hope that they grow big and tall and harvest them. top of all this whoops uh get this back 
It's on top of all the uh, snowy blocks. Not sure where they're from yet. But we're planting a lot of them. And we just cross our fingers and occasionally one grows. So after a couple days, there should be more than a couple. There should be several. Thousand. What happened to that tree? The like creeper exploded there. Good. Go ahead and oh no, I got enough for one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. And what's down here? Creepy. Ooh, it's a cave. Darker, 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 darker. I think what we might do today is something that uh, one of you guys, my awesome viewers, recommended uh, a couple couple streams ago. Well, it was using agriculture, agricraft for some of the farms because right now you don't really. Let's, let's name this one too. Farm. And you said that the golems would be smart enough to like harvest it without breaking the plants. So I'm kinda curious about that one. Too many trees in here now too. What's what's going on there? Trees. God. What's going on there? Thirty-two of thirty-two channels. What's is that our storage? Well, that's our ME interfaces, our assemblers. Man, we got a lot of assemblers. So, AgriCraft. Let's just do a search for that. AgriCraft. Oh, it looks like they have a seed analyzer. That's interesting. Something we might start with is setting up a... Let's go up to Applied Energistics level. Terminal and some cables. Oh, I'll just have a random interface falling from the ceiling. Perfect. All right, seed analyzer. Duke, duke, and we'll plop you down like right here. So this is to look at seeds and put them onto a book? Question mark. Ooh, journal. Can we? Let's make some crops. Let's make a journal. And I guess we put the journal here. Is there an actual book on how to use agriculture? Use to remove weeds from crops? What? Uh, use to remove weeds from crop. Okay. I expect there to be weeds, but uh, yeah. And they have all these mystical flower seeds. I'm guessing those are like agricraft agri and um, Batania mixa uh, and, and, and integration or whatever. Maybe it's made by the same mod developer. Cactus seeds. Ooh. Daisy, tulip, sugarcane, carrots, potatoes. I'm okay with that. That's pretty much the necessities that we're going to take care of. 
Is that it though? Is there no other flat seeds besides those? Hmm. Well, if that's it, that's kind of disappointing. Let's go ahead and grab some seeds, shall we? Got a couple of carrot seeds. I guess we're going to need some of these crops too, so let's do that. Just grab a stack of them. Bye, slip. Close that out. Uh, what other kind of seeds did we have here? We got the carrots. Some of those. Some agricraft potato seeds. Some agricraft barley seeds? No. I think that's the last one. So carrots, potatoes, and standard seeds. What, what happens if we look at a seed in here? Discovered one seed. Growth, gain, and strength. Interesting. Carrot seeds? Let's go two seeds. Same thing. So can we make these, like, enhanced? Is it kind of like uh, the industrial craft IC2 crops? Oh! What JC just said. So there might be some others that are hidden. So let's uh, let's get uh, some sort of hoe. I think we got a matic that'll work. Uh, we also have yeah, it's not there. So let's grab a matic. I think matics work for this, right? Nope. Okay. We do have a stone hoe. up all of our farmland, make sure it's doing okay. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. I'm planting crops. Wow, well, it looks so nice there. <laughs> the trees though, some of them are like tiny and I don't like tiny trees like that. You can't really get around them. Yeah. Get rid of that one. I feel your pain. So now that we've looked at seeds, what happens if we look at our journal? Agriculture journal. Introduction. Welcome to agricultural farming. Today I will teach you the basics of farming with crops. To start you will need to put four sticks in a crafting grid. Done. I actually had to do that before I got the journal, buddy. This makes crops. These can be put into farmland and seeds can be planted on them. You will also need to apply a second set of crops to an existing crop. Wait, what? You can apply a second set of crops to an existing crop. This will create a cross crop if you plant two or more crops. If you plant two or more plants and crops adjacent to a cross crop, there is a chance for a mutation to occur. Okay, hold on. If you plant two or more plants and crops adjacent to a cross crop. Hi! In this journal, you can keep track of all your discovered crop mutations. To register a discovered seed, put the journal in a seed analyzer, and then analyze the seed. This will reveal you the... You, welcome back, Slip! <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> She's over here looking at my chat window, but I just look at her and start... Kissy face. Making towards each other. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, if you ever wish to copy the journal, put it in a crafting grid together with a blank book and quill. Hmm. Could I give the. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is definitely like the IC2 crops then. Potatoes. 
Hoit. And that's all I know so far. No mutations. So let's do this. Put down some crops. Put down some more crops. Crappy crops. I said two or more sides to give you a chance of a mutation. So we got uh, we got some crops down there. Those are nice. Uh, we have. Do these still stack with the, the normal ones? Didn't think so. So I guess once you look at the seed in the journal, that kind of identifies it and it no longer stacks with a standard seed. So can we plant non-identified ones? Yes, we can. Okay. Actually, that planted the other one. Um, all right. Uh, we have potato seeds. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to potato, potato, carrot, carrot, right? And then we're going to mix potatoes with... Did that, did that use a seed or did that not use a seed? I thought you put multiple crops in the... Oh man, now I'm so confused. Let's go back to the journal. Did I read that wrong? You can also apply a second set of crops to an existing crop. Oh, crops! Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm derp, derping today. Sorry, guys. You probably have to do that before you actually plant the crops in. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do it like that. And we have carrots and potatoes. And what we'll do is we'll put seeds here and here. And we'll put potatoes here, and we'll put carrots here. And right here, we're just going to put uh, carrots. So I guess it actually uses those crops when you do the... Jeez. Ah, it's been a while since I've worked with crops, guys. Hold on. These, uh... All right, let's try planting some standard old carrots back here. No crossbreeding going on there, just standard old carrots, some regular old potatoes. Right here. And actually, we should probably do it like this, shouldn't we? Can we? Hold on. Ow! Oh, why would you do that? Ha! Ah, nether warts are a seed too. Very nice. So, um, and we can put crops there too. Let's do this, shall we? Crop it up, and we'll put like nether warts here. Need one more wart. So all of our basic crops, I'll move those eventually. Oh, we have to analyze all of our seeds. Jesus, can we do a whole stack and that works? Oh, good, it does. Nice. Don't know why I did just one earlier. Okay. We'll, we'll leave Mr. Journal in. Ah, let's look at it. Let's see if it told us anything about the uh, nether warts. Nether wart! I guess that indicates what kind of thing that it grows on. Growth stages. Okay, cool. Put a book back. So here we're going to have crops. Weeds have sprouted here, and weeds can grow to other crops too if you don't have stuff on them. So let's break that, place that, and just do seeds. So we'll have our wheat, 
pan, then we'll have our carrots. Man, those sweets grew quick. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our golem. Let's do a straw golem. We'll get uh, four of them to start. And see how they work with these crops, because someone said they work pretty good. So I believe them. doing the crossbreeding at? Was it here? I think it was. So we'll start Mr. Golem over here. Hey guy. Do some order and like that too. Okay. You okay with that? Good. Ah, actually that's not right. I wanted to have one right here, didn't I? Do I still have all that set up to gather the items too? Hold on just a second. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. I'm not going to worry about it. It's, it's got to be working. Um. <laughs> yeah, that one got a, got a hat. Alright, see if you can harvest all of those, guy. Okay. Okay, can I trust you to do that? And I'm going to replace the other one, too. Not too sure about the range that these guys work in, so... You too. Oh, he keeps the upgrades in him. I didn't know that. Huh. I think there may have been a bug that uh, had, him, had him lose that last time. Or maybe I was like shift and clicking on him and that was removing all of their upgrades. Anyway. So then we just need over here as well. Boop. You'll have to leave the crops empty to get the mutations. Oh. I think I knew that, but at the same time I didn't know that. So, I've still got plenty of seeds, so we'll do that. Um, starting up, oh, and I think we'll have to have, like, what, a rake? It was... We'll do an iron one. Really? We don't have any fence? Really? We don't have a recipe for iron? I guess it's bars, isn't it? Yep. And begin. And got it. And there we go. So... And we're out of crops already. Man. Grab another stack. So we're going to do carrots on those sides. And wheat on those sides. Thinking, how can we? Yes, how indeed. Um, essential provider. How complex is the recipe for essential provider? Oh, it's arcane infusion. Okay. Um, 
say do an aggro carnation, but there's no way to really send mana over applied energistics. Uh, is there any good way to store mana and send mana, maybe? What do we have here? Mana pump? Wait, what? Uh, so we updated to a new version. Let me see if there is any uh, tidbits on that. Because maybe a mana pump is going to do what I want it to do. And pump mana around. Maybe not. Um, but you know what? I just remembered. I have blood magic. So we have a sigil of the green grove. Sigil of the Green Grove. See if that helps. Oh, yeah. You gonna harvest that, Mr. Golem? It's right there screaming your name, man. Go get it. Go get that. Go get that right there. It's mature. It's a mature plant. It's got your name on it. You looked right at oh there's two now oh hey yeah yeah you're good okay cool all right so we'll hang out with this see if that helps the mutations here. Weeds have sprouted here. Shh. What about this? Oh, we got it. We actually have something there, I believe. What about here? Crops. It says crops. So yeah, uh, answering your question, Pans, according to the instructions it said that, um, Put on the side of fully grown plants, maybe. So if they are not fully grown, then oh, you know what? I just thought of some other seeds too. Do we have pumpkin seeds or melon seeds? Cotton seeds. I wonder if we can look at cotton seeds. Spain, snowbell, barley, belladonna, certus quart seed. Wouldn't that be funny if we could look at those? Do we have pumpkins or melons? Or pumpkins. So let's do that. Surprised of all things, we don't have any melons. Look at that. So that. This right here confirms the reach that these straw golems have. A radius of one, two, three, four. Good job, buddy. You work in a... How would you say that? Nine by nine area? Yeah. Oh, those go grow quick when I'm around them, too. Holy crap. As you can see, they're not harvesting right there. That sucks. That's a bummer, because that basically means that he's not going to be able to reach these over here. Or over here. So I'll have to use more golems, because... Actually, hold on. There might be an upgrade to increase their range as well. We'll have to mess with that. He's still VIP on the server. What? Who asked? You guys keep saying that I'm leaving Minecraft. It's not so much that I'm leaving Minecraft, it's just technicalities, man. Yeah. Techna fucking calities. Um so that just got us wheat from the looks of it. I 
I guess we break it and try to get a different crop. And those will be like unanalyzed seeds. And I could totally put a crop there too, yeah, yeah, like that. Alright, let's see. Carrots, 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 seeds, seeds. Nothing special yet. Let's see if that's indeed what we got. Uh, seeds unidentified. It's, it's, it's plain old seeds. I think I will swap one of these guys out with some pumpkin seeds. And switch this guy as well. So now it's going to be carrots and pumpkins and see if that gives us anything special. Can I just right click on that to harvest? I can. Huh. But that doesn't give me the seeds, which is what I want to analyze anyway. Well said, JC. What did JC say? That technically you would have been contracted uh, to attend conventions and stuff, and that you just want to play games. Yep, pretty much. And things and stuff. And let's go ahead and It's those. all gravy. It's all gravy. From my perspective, nothing's gonna change. From your guys' perspective, nothing's gonna change. From the community spec perspective, nothing's gonna change. But from a trademark perspective, you're not gonna see me use the Minecraft name on like a t-shirt and then I'm gonna sell that t-shirt because it's trademarked. That's what's changed. Anyway, we got some more seeds to analyze. Let's analyze them. What can you tell me about this seed? It has a strength of two. I'm gonna trademark that ass. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Growth of two. So now I have some growth of two and strength of two. Interesting. Oh, is that one more unidentified seed? No, it's actually got strength. There's the unidentified one. There we go. Whoa, we got growth, strength, and gain of two. Nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all that this, uh, I don't know if you guys were familiar with the that's ice, cool how ice the sun tube. is right outside your window. Yeah? You like that? That's very cool. You should screenshot that. Screenshot it. No. Yeah. And then you have the moon outside the other one. Oh, Whoa. you do. Did you plan that? It's crazy. Or did it just happen? It just happens to be awesome. You planned it. Oh, I got melon seeds from mixing pumpkin and... Huh. I was about to go get me some melon seeds. That saves me a little trouble. <laughs> Pan says, dad ass trademarked. Already taken. You owe me money now. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, weeds have sprouted there. Get rid of those weeds. The sigil of growth makes things really quick, too. Wow. It's awesome. Hey, Redfire. Was this one of the ones that I was crossbreeding? I think it was. What's this? Oh, melon seeds. 